Hi, I'm Doug Sneed. Today we're going to talk about how to run our Epilogue Fusion M2 laser. This is a CO2 laser. It's 60 watts and it's capable of engraving or cutting on various types of material like wood or acrylic, etc. While you're operating this laser, it's important to remember the safety features of the laser, such as the emergency stop button and where your fire extinguisher is located. To turn on the laser, there's a black power switch just below the emergency stop switch on the right hand side. After you turn on the laser, you'll see that the uh, menu will say initializing and there will be some flashing lights and the bed will lower as it's homing. And for demonstration for today, we're going to engrave and cut some sample coasters. Now we're going to load our project piece onto the vector grid to make sure it's square. Go all the way forward and then all the way to the left against the two rulers. And then it should be square against that. Now we're going to take the focus gauge and hang it on the tool head and this will set the depth of the laser. So now we're going to use the, uh, the up and down arrows to select the up and down icon for the bed. We're going to use the joystick to raise the bed until we get to the uh, focus gauge. Be sure to remove the focus gauge when your focus is complete. So now we're going to set the X and Y axis to zero. We'll use this function where you can jog the head of the laser along the X and Y axis. So use the arrow to go down twice and then we'll turn on this red dot. It's not actually the laser, it's just a red light that shows where the laser is pointing. By pushing the joystick up, it'll move the tool head back. By pushing the joystick down, it'll move the tool head forward. And if you put the joystick to the left and to the right, it'll move the tool head left and right. So now we're going to drive the tool head to the where we want the zero of the left and of the X and Y axis. We'll use the joystick to go all the way to the left and all the way up to the corner. In order to record this, we're going to press down on the joystick and that's going to set our X and Y at zero, zero. So this will be the home for our project. So as you can see, we've got our PDF opened up. This is a, an export from Inkscape. So everything in red is gonna be uh, etched and that's a raster image. Everything that's black is going to be cut and that's a vector cut. And those settings are all laid out in Inkscape and you can see that in our Inkscape tutorial series. So now we're going to send the PDF, we're going to send the image or the file to the laser. So to do that, just hit print and then properties. And you notice it's got the epilogue laser as the printer. Go to properties and we'll just go down the line. So it's already set at 600 for the resolution. We're not doing center engraving this time. We'll uncheck send to laser. We have a CO2 laser, not a fiber. We're doing combined, so raster would be for etching only, vector would be for cutting only. We're doing combined since we're going to etch and then cut. We're going to set our workpiece size is already good. And raster settings will be uh, per the, the fusion manual. And then we're going to hit OK. So you'll find this manual next to the laser engraving station. and. Inside in Appendix B, it's got recommended settings for cutting and engraving different materials, and then also some best practices notes that we've uh, figured out along the way. For cutting, this is a 1 8 inch, so we'll use 10 speed, 100 power. So once you're done with all the settings, hit OK, and then hit Print, and then we'll open up the Epilogue software. This is the Job Manager software. And then the top one is the last one that was sent to the uh, job manager. Double click on it. You can verify your speed and power settings. So for raster, the engraving is 6520. And for the vector cut is 10 speed, 100 power. And then we'll hit quick print. And now you can see the under this icon, so you can cycle through the different files. Um, and then we have our first job is, uh, that's our file name, Strange Love. And you can cycle down and check your focus is still good and your jog so the light is still uh, on our 00xy spot 
and then our raster speed is 65, our vector speed is 10, and if you cycle down one more, that's the power settings. So the raster power for the engraving section is 20, and the vector power, which is the cutting power setting, is 100, which is everything we wanted set. So one safety feature of this laser is that with the door open, it will not activate the laser. We have the red light on from this menu, and if we hit play, it'll basically do a dry run of the cut. And if you want to pause the cut, you can hit the red pause button, and then the, you can reset and start over by hitting the back circle. And then once we're ready to cut, we'll just close the lid, and then we're gonna turn on the blower to remove the fumes and the gases, exhaust gases. And then we'll turn on, since we're doing an actual cut, uh, we'll use compressed air to uh, reduce any risk of fire. Make sure the compressor's in the on position. So the maximum pressure for this laser is 30 PSI. So we'll set this pressure regulator at 30 PSI. And again, that's to mitigate any risk of fire hazard. Once we're ready to begin, hit the play button. So as you can see, our project turned out really great. It's got a lot of nice contrast. The image showed up really well. It's got the black edges that uh, are synonymous with the laser cut. And uh, this, I mean, this is a pretty cool project that you know somebody in your shop might wanna try something like this.